stop right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. Actually, I've been looking for the Dalish. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? I'm a Grey Warden. I wish to speak to your leader. A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? Many people go about pretending to be Grey Wardens, do they? No, that's true. Perhaps I shall let the Keeper decide for himself. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Hmm. I see we have guests. <coughs> and a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. <laughs> Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvenen, Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaprian, the Keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? The Keeper? Does that mean you're in charge here? I guide my fellow Dalish, and they follow my word out of respect. But I would still prefer to know with whom I am speaking. My name is Bruce. Pleasure to meet you. Manners. From a Shemlin. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the South. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest. But we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Oh, of course you aren't able to uphold your end of the treaty. There are actual werewolves in the forest. There was a time in Ferelden's history when werebeasts roamed the lands in great numbers. Spirits possessed animals and turned them into horrific monsters. The humans warred against and destroyed these creatures. No doubt their tales of those days grow ever more inaccurate. Flemeth tells tales of such a time. Packs of possessed wolves akin to abominations roaming the land. It was a terrible age, now long past. The werebeasts are not all gone from this land, and the ones that stalk the Brazilian forests are proof of this. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Oh, I am good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. 
But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I'll find this Witherfang for you. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. I have some questions for you. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Seyrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. How do I find Brother Fang? Do you have any advice? Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. Tell me more about this curse that the hunters suffer from. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. So, did all werewolves eventually stem from this Witherfang? No. The ones from this forest, however, do. So, if a werewolf bites me, then I become infected? It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. Heather, I know you have been infected by it. Uh, hold on. How do I know if you have been infected by the curse? You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit, and most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather personal. How did this curse start? That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Ask Seyrel about it if you wish. I'm gonna ask about something else. Go on then. Uh, I should go. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Guy sounds like Tim Russ. I'll have to look that up later to see if that's the voice actor. Okay, I am in a Dalish elf camp. The Dalish elves in the world of Dragon Age are a group of elves that don't really care for living the same kind of lifestyle that the city elves are the most common type of elves that we've run across in this game. Elves are considered in Ferelden society and Tervinter and pretty much all of the major population centers or uh, countries in the world to be second-class citizens at best. They're smaller, probably weaker than humans, and they're more easily pushed around, and it's uh, something about in the history elves had a much more, uh, like mages, had a much more influential presence in society, but since the blights and all that kind of stuff, elves have essentially been pushed to the fringes of society, and that's where these da uh, Dalish elves are attempting to live. How do they move these things through the forest? Do the trees just get out of their way or what? Yes, that's how they do it. Because it's magic. The Dalish elves are attempting to live in some fashion by the sort of society and lifestyle of the elves before the fall of their civilization. Although, in reality, they're more like a bunch of nomadic tribes moving through the woods, attempting to stay as far away from uh, the human and dwarven or whatever populations of the world. Because if they were to... They're not tolerated, really. They're just ignored. And in the event that they created too much of a ruckus out there in the woods, they'd be hunted down and killed. So they're attempting, for the most part, to just hide from society. Elves that live in the cities, on the other hand, are very much treated like second-class citizens. If you see an elf in a human district of a city, they have a tendency to keep their hands together and they look down at the ground and all that kind of stuff. Because they are... Uh, well, they're not treated very well and they're sort of afraid of people around them, I imagine. These elves, uh, you could say that they are... They're perhaps living a more... Uh, 
Uh, uh, they're a more free life, but for the most part, they're... I, I, I don't know which you would actually consider to be a better lifestyle, because there are aspects of the daily shelf uh, life that aren't really that desirable, especially to a lot of city elves who look at the daily shelves like, oh, I don't want to live in the woods, and a lot of the daily shelves look at the city elves and go, they're not real elves. Anyway, let's talk to some people. Who comes? Oh, I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. Who are you? My name is Alora. I am the master herder in charge of caring for the Hala. Not as exciting as being a Grey Warden, but the Hala are vital to us. What is a Hala? They are the noble beasts that pull our Arabelle. What humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. They are not your mounts? We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. That sounds terribly inconvenient. So why have you separated this one from the others? I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Oh crap, I got a lot of options here. Eh, survival examine Nala. That sounds like a good one. And? What do you think? I truly cannot tell. I am glad you attempted it regardless. Let's try the comet. I, maybe I don't have enough survival to actually do any of these things. No. No, I'm sorry. She isn't calming any more around you than she is for me. I could kill her quietly, if you wish. No. That would not be right. When the time comes, then I will do it myself. It is my duty. As both Master Herder and as... As her friend, she shall take her last breath knowing she was always safest in my care. Ah, uh, well, that didn't work out. The reason why you see the HUD appearing and disappearing a lot is because I have the, the, uh, the key, I have the key for the microphone is bound to the V key, which is what does that. Hello, guy with a name I don't want to pronounce. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Ferrothorn. And so they should. Truly, the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? Why is that idiot swinging the hammer like that? I'd like to barter with you. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Okay, I got the crap I want. Uh, okay, hold on. Crap I bought was for Liliana. Oh crap, she doesn't have enough strength to use medium glove. Oh, jeez, I have light gloves on her. Ha <laughs> ha. I could have sworn I bought light uh okay. Wearing light gloves, those are definitely not the ones I bought though. Where is... 
crap, I definitely bought something. These are no good anyway, I should sell these. Anyway, let's go. See what else we can get into. I'm Darren Atitian, stranger. I am Athras. I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. They have been a bit suspicious. I would be the same in their place. They have just been attacked, after all. It is not our intention to insult a Grey Warden. We are simply wrapped up in the plight of our hunters. It is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. You do not seem very happy about that. None of us are happy about this situation, and I least of all. But I shouldn't speak too much about this, especially with an outsider. I am sure you have little interest in my problems. Please, I'd like to hear about it. It's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but perhaps you can help me. My wife Denila and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denila is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. And that it is being kept from me so I do not go chasing after her. If I could just know if Denila is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. I'll seek her out in the forest. I have an amulet made by our craftsmen. It's not much, but I would be happy to give it to you in return for any news. Okay. Just a lot of little things we can do. I'm gonna collect all the, or start all the quests in this area, then I'll end the episode. The next one, you know. Uh, hello? Hello yourself. Who are you? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. Why can't you? I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. You don't have tattoos in your face. <sighs> Tell me before I kick your head in. Before you... Uh, uh, all right. I suppose it makes no difference. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of the beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Who's Gaina? She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. <sighs> there must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. Ah, uh, jeez. Perhaps I could talk to Gana for you. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. I can be pretty persuasive. Really? I... I I'm willing to try anything. That depends. What's that for me? I could reward you. I have a book of our history written in the common tongue. The Keeper wrote it and gave it to my father before he died. If nothing else, you could sell it. It must be worth something in the human lands. Fine. I'll do it. Siranas. Oh, Ma Siranas. I will pray to the Goddess of Love that you are successful. Yeah. This is a bit of a waste of time, but let's do this anyway. Where was she? She over here? She over there? Gotta help this kid, uh... Bond. With somebody. Where was she? Ah, oh, oh, okay. I have no guarantees it's going to be successful, but let's try it anyway. I'm Darren Atitian, outsider. You're a gainer, correct? Cameron mentioned you. You spoke to him? What did he say? 
said you refused to give him your hand. Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Kamen. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? Ah, uh, jeez. If you love him, it doesn't matter what he does, what he is, does it? But what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? I don't know. Why are you asking me? You're the one who brought him up. Oh, there is no point in discussing this with an outsider. Please, let us speak of it no more. Damn it. <laughs> I guess I could have followed through if I tried to persuade option again. But, you know, there's this little bastard. We're just gonna send him off to the woods so he dies. So, have you spoken to Gaina? She said that she could marry you. Nor would I have expected differently. But thank you for trying. Until I complete my hunt and become a true hunter, it shall never be. Why not go into the forest anyway? But the keeper said, no, I just can't. What if I encountered a werewolf? I couldn't defeat one of those on my own. Stop being a... Why not come with me then? The keeper would know right away if I left camp. Masiranis for the offer, however. That's very kind of you. What if I got the pelt for you? No, I, I couldn't do that. I must kill the beast myself. It is my rite of passage to become a full hunter. Kid, you're making it very hard to help you. Do you want to marry Gaynor or not? Make a decision. You are right. I do want to marry Gaynor before she marries someone else. So you would get a pelt for me? Why would you do that? Because it suits me. Do I need another reason? Then I am very grateful. I will pray to Andrul, the goddess of the hunt, for your success. Little pain in the ass. Maybe this is why everybody hates elves. I'm gonna steal your shit, by the way. I don't want that, but I'll take it anyway. Because I want you to not have it anymore. Uh, who else do we have around here? Ill fruit, ill fruit. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna bring this episode to a close.